Yeah, I'm gonna try. Welcome back guys to another awesome episode of Southern Extreme TV. I just left work and I'm going fishing. Got a half day off today and got a local lake here close to where I work at. But the awesome thing is guys, it's 75 degrees. The crappie should be biting. The water's warming up. Bass are spawning, shad are moving. Fish are feeding and it is awesome. So let's go get on the water, get the heck out of this awful place that I call work. Let's go get on the freaking water guys. Headed to Moss today. What? Getting ready to go to a first spot. Don't really know exactly where I'm gonna be fishing at. I know there's two branches of a river that feeds into this uh, main lake. Basically that's what I'm gonna be looking for is down one of those uh, river channels. And basically I'm just gonna idle over a couple spots and look for some fish stacked up on some points. That's where I hope they're at, but who knows. Water temperature is 67 degrees, so that's perfect for the type of fishing that I'm gonna be doing right now. Beautiful day. I think it's gonna be a good day of fishing, guys. So let's get to this first spot and uh, see if I can make it happen today, guys. fish that are setting on looks like some brush piles um, basically fishing a split shot or a couple split shots and then about a foot of leader and then a gold hook with a live uh, crappy minnow on it hopefully this is gonna be a good presentation this is my first pass so we'll see if uh, see if it works out and see if I get lucky and hopefully get a couple bites right here bass <clears throat> little spot he absolutely killed it too that's a mean fighting fish but not quite what we're looking for Absolutely miserable conditions right now guys. This wind is blowing like 30 miles an hour And I had to make a change, but Finally got a big uh, female white perch <clears throat> Hopefully I get a couple more of this size and if not some perch hopefully some uh, some crappy so Still early in the day. It's 2 30 right now. This is the second fish of the day caught that one bass and then this one so hopefully Hopefully this is a good sign of things to come Get this fish in. Get this fish in, I'll tell you what I've been doing. Better get up here and steer the trolling motor. Alright guys. So basically, wasn't getting any crappy to bite. We got onto a school of hybrid bass. I'm having a troll for one, but I'm actually catching them.
right there, guys. That's a good bass. It's a good little spot right there. Look how fat his belly is. <clears throat> Light line, four pound test leader with gold hook and live bait. It's a good fish. We'll put him back and I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm doing. It's so cool. So basically guys, I've been fishing all day and I've just now started to catch fish. Basically what I did is I got tired and was just setting kind of on the edge of uh, this creek channel. <clears throat> and these guys kept trolling back and forth past me, catching fish. And I couldn't figure out why I wasn't catching any fish. And I, I figured out that they wanted it moving. Now, as I was trolling, I kept catching these hybrid bass. And I was able to pinpoint <clears throat> exactly where these fish were at so what i did is i come back over with my depth finder and i figured out that these bass are sitting in about eight foot of water and that's what i'm setting in right now and all i'm doing is dropping a minute down about four foot and man they're just smacking it every time i drop it down so uh, i'm gonna keep the camera rolling and let you guys watch this well i don't have to show you too much right there just went one It's another largemouth. This is my fifth largemouth. Or not largemouth, but uh, spotted bass. <clears throat> right in the roof of the mouth. Not big guys. They're not big, but they're fun. And that's awesome. Let me put this guy back and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. All I'm doing, guys, is I've got my gold hook, got a couple split shots, and I got about a 12 inches or a foot of leader. All right, guys. So I'm gonna take my. I got a crappy minnow. I'm gonna put it right up under his dorsal. Fin. So right up under his back fin, just enough to get him on there to let him dangle so he can still swim. And how I'm measuring it is I'm just putting my uh, putting my sinker in the water, going straight up, and then letting it down. And that's all I'm doing. And basically that fish is down there dangling and swimming. And then we're going to catch hopefully some more hybrid bass take home and eat. And what's cool about it, guys, is I'm not putting a lot of line down, so I have the ability to fish these rods really close together. And what that does is it gives me a, a presentation a presentation of having multiple bait fish in the same area. But because I don't have a lot of line down. My lines are not going to get tangled if a fish hits it. I'm going to be able to see him hit my line before he gets tangled up. It's a good fish. I just had a tumble on guys, I almost lost my bed. I got that the hook just 
bail out. Look at that. I want you to look at the lip on him. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. This is fun. Not a lot of fish I can eat, but it's a lot of fun fish to catch. That's all I'm worried about. Show you guys again. Right up under the top fin. Go quit squirming. Okay. We'll put it down in the water. Go up. Flip my belt. And it's ready to go. I'm gonna bait this one up because I know this one got my mina. I can get a good hook set on him. Good crappy guys. Now that's what I'm here to catch. Good little crappy right there. It's gonna be good eating fish. Put him in the live well. Debate it up and go down one more time. Well, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Um, number one, my voice is about to go. These allergies are just killing me. getting dark we got a beautiful sunset right here behind me hopefully you guys can see it um, had an awesome day fishing and it really didn't pick up until here within the last hour to two hours I guess <clears throat> caught some hybrid bass trolling which is pretty cool um, and I've just now anchored up and started to catch some spotted bass a couple crappy and uh, one largemouth I don't think I got it on film though pretty awesome afternoon guys I've had a lot worse um, but definitely a pretty fun day and again, I apologize for the way that I sound. It's uh, fighting this cold and pollen and all this stuff all at the same time. It's kind of kind of rough right now, but had an awesome day. Can't thank you guys enough for watching Southern Extreme TV. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Check out. Until, <clears throat> until next time, guys, be sure to like, share, and subscribe all my videos. Guys, if you've got somebody young in your life, like a, a younger kid or something, be sure to take them out into the outdoors just because this stuff that kids are doing nowadays it sitting in front of TVs and playing on video games all day it just it, it takes away from a lot of the stuff 
that I learned growing up as a kid. And patience is one of those things that I think kids can learn out here fishing and hunting. And on top of that, it keeps kids out of trouble. So anytime you have an opportunity to take a kid fishing or in the outdoors, guys, highly suggest doing it. Can't thank you enough for watching, guys. Until next time, I'm Blake Myers. And uh, don't know where I'm going to be going next, but I'll be sure to bring you guys along.